folks, welcome back to AAA Farms. James here. Uh, so as y'all know, I'm swapping over the two power products for my battery tools. Uh, and I act like I have a whole bunch of battery tools now. I really don't. All I have is a Dewalt drill. That's, it's been a great drill. It's an old 18 volt system. And I lost the battery, so I'm down to one battery. And I got to looking what I need to do to get new batteries, which Dewalt batteries are very expensive. I didn't want to pay that. We kind of already covered all this before. But ultimately, that's why I'm going to power. I don't rely on my power tools to make a living. And so it's worthwhile to take a risk with a product like this for me. Because if it doesn't pan out, it was a cheap test. Relatively cheap test. Still kind of expensive. Uh, everything is now. But it's a cheap test for me to try this out before I just go all out. Dewalt, Milwaukee, or Makita. One of the very expensive brands that are known for reliability. But what I got here today is the brushless compact reciprocating saw, 20 volt from Bauer. Uh, I got to use it today, actually. I had to get the chicken coop ready for winter, or I guess that only has been winter. But we have a cold front coming up. Uh, it's probably about 40 degrees right now, which is not bad. Uh, it's very windy, that's why I got a jacket on. When it, the wind ain't blowing, it actually starts getting kind of warm. But today is Saturday. Uh, Monday is supposed to get down to 14 degrees, so I had to had to get that done first, which required me to take this out of the box and get that done before I did this video. Anyway, so I got the power, I got the five amp hour 20 volt battery. Uh, I've been very pleased with this so far. That being said, the only thing I've really done with it is cut the little chicken door out, so I haven't really done anything with it yet. But when I was getting the blades to do the little chicken door, I saw. Diablo has this little demo demon pruning blade and obviously it cuts the wood too. Uh, it's supposed to be 50 times a longer life. Uh, I can already tell you growing up I uh, worked at a local store around here and I did a lot of work uh, like side work with carpenters and just different stuff like that. Um, and I've used uh, reciprocating saws before. And one thing I noticed with the Di with this Diablo blade, this thing is thick. It's a lot thicker than anything those guys were using. And those guys were doing it for a living, but they weren't, I wouldn't say they were like top grade doing the biggest jobs on the planet either. They were more like handymen. So they were probably buying cheaper blades, I would assume, or maybe blades came a long way because that was 18 years ago, 16, 18 years ago. But uh, one thing I noticed, this thing is extremely thick. And uh, this pruning blade is thicker than the other Diablo blade, which uh, those are still pretty thick too. So they seem a lot more rigid, which we're kind of getting off subject. I think everybody knows the Diablo brand and how good they are. So I'm gonna go test this thing out. What I'm curious to see is how many cuts we can get on a full battery. And what I'm gonna do while I got the pruning blade to test this thing out, we got some fencing over here that I wanna uh, or I'm going to do some fencing over here this spring and I need to go cut a bunch of little trees and things of that nature get it out of the way so whenever we go the run fence and we'll see uh we'll see how long the battery lasts one thing I will note on the battery so far that I really like I uh threw this thing on charge because I charged them probably about a week ago maybe two weeks ago uh it was whatever day that I did the the impact video I think it was a week ago. Anyway, I charged them, took them off the charger. We've been just sitting on the counter, and this thing, had, I threw it on the charger just to make sure we had a full charge, and it was still fully charged. So the charger actually didn't even charge it. Uh, we're still at full charge, obviously. So I think that's pretty good. I like it, but yet again, I am comparing it to my 18 volt D wall that I've had for probably about 13 ish years, if not longer. So let's uh, get this thing out of this packaging and go test it out and see, uh, see how it does. So I got the lock on. There's a lock, unlocked, got it back locked. To put the blade in, you just twist this. Let's see if I can do this on camera. Twist it, drop it in, let go of it, it's set in place. Now we're ready to go. Uh, this Diablo blade cost uh, $8.99 in my local farm store, so I would suspect to uh, pay that much. 
which it, it's more expensive. I think it was about 10 bucks for like a five pack of the other blades that I used for the chicken coop. So definitely more expensive. Let's go get the cut. This is what we got. So going down here, there's an old rusty fence. That is the property line and it goes this way. So all this brush and small stuff, I gotta cut and get out of the way. So whenever I build my ball bar fence, I can build it along my property line. And this is probably, I don't know, probably about a 200 yard stretch maybe. But, give you an idea. Should be able to see it from here. If you can, you see the fencing right there. That's that old fencing. So everything on this side from this point has to go. I'm not gonna cut this tree right here yet because it's a bigger tree and that will probably make good firewood. So, and also, no, nah, that blade probably long enough to cut through that. But I'm gonna cut that for firewood. However, we'll see how much of this other stuff we can cut and I'm just gonna cut it throw it over here at least the smaller stuff and we uh should be able to just come through and brush hog all that so let's get started okay start with the smaller stuff right here
So we probably got about 30 foot of it cleared at this point. And 12 minutes into this current recording. So it's doing pretty good work. Y'all can see the pile of stuff we already got. Probably try to do a little bit more or maybe find some bigger pieces to do. That's what I'm thinking. But I don't have a whole lot more time. I gotta go uh, go cook. We're gonna fry some whole chickens tonight. Let's just see if we can't find something big and cut it. All right, got a piece of firewood here. I'm just gonna cut a little end off. If that gives y'all an idea. This is a nine inch Diablo blade. Gives y'all an idea how big it is. Just gonna take a little, little chunk off the end. cut through it also the blades kind of hot not too bad motors perfectly cool all right folks that's all I really got for today I need to go inside I'm gonna fry some whole chicken so I need to go get started on that uh, I was able to do about 30 foot of that fence line in about 12 minutes <clears throat> which that 12 minutes includes all the cutting repositioning the camera to give y'all somewhat decent shots hopefully and then on top of that I had to drag everything out of the way so we did a lot of work in a short period of time with this machine uh, the motor never got hot which also bear in mind it's probably about 50 ish degrees outside right now so that's probably helping with cooling but also this is it's not hot at all uh, the battery is still full with all that cutting we did even with cutting through uh, this firewood right here, it uh, it's about probably about seven inches at its thickest. This is a nine-inch Diablo blade, and we got about an inch and a half sticking out the end. Uh, it cut through that just fine. I wouldn't do that just a ton, or instead of holding it out here like I was trying to keep my hand away from the cutting, maybe get a little bit closer to help have a little bit more stable. Basically, it was vibrating my hand pretty good. As far as all that little stuff out there, no problems whatsoever. Uh, really pleased with the Diablo blade so far. It didn't bend or anything, and it's doing pretty good. Uh, so far, I'm pretty, pretty happy with the power products. I got, uh, I got one more tool to do a review on until I get more. I think it's the, uh, yeah, it's the impact bit brushless impact bit driver. That's part of the 20 volt series. And I'll probably do a video on it pretty soon. Uh, but so far I got this and I got the impact, the 3 8 impact. And very pleased with both of them so far. I'm really excited about this just for a simple fact. I was able to do 30 feet in 12 minutes. Uh, normally for that kind of stuff, I would use shears to go through and get all the small stuff. And then I'd go back through with a brush hook. The issue with the brush hook on the bigger stuff though is whenever you cut, you typically cut more at an angle to be more efficient with that. And when you cut at that angle, you leave a, a pointy stick, basically. And I'm going to be running fence through there. And then eventually when the fence is up, I'm going to run cows in there. So you don't really want to have sharp sticks point, you know, everywhere. This allows me to cut closest to the ground and keep a flat cut. Uh, so, and we got a lot of trimming to do. Because like I said, we did probably about 30 feet. And there's probably about another 600 feet to go. And then on top of that, that's uh, running east and west from that corner on the east side going south. There's a lot of cutting we'll have to do there too. And I plan on doing pretty much all of it with this. The bigger stuff, I'll probably get my chainsaw uh, just because it'd be a little bit quicker. But it's really nice that this thing is full charge still. I did about 30 foot. I also have two five amp hour batteries. I got this one and another one. And so I think I could probably constantly work getting through all that stuff without running out of batteries uh, 
Oh, your life seems to be doing pretty good on these tools. I haven't had just like an all day usage out of them yet, but so far, uh, pretty good. Anyway, I'm start rambling on. I'm gonna let y'all go. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you like this kind of content. Uh, hunting season's coming to the end, and that's kind of what's been keeping me away because I'd like to I'll do a lot of deer hunting here. Uh, hunting season actually ends tomorrow for rifle season anyway and then we'll have a week of uh, primitive and then we'll have another week of bow season and that's it but I think my season might be over with I haven't decided if I'm gonna go back hunting in the morning or not but uh oh we'll see anyway I'm rambling on y'all have a good day enjoy yourselves have a good weekend talk to y'all next time